welcome back my dear student teachers to the uh, course knowledge and curriculum we are we have just entered into the fifth unit curriculum practices we are in the first module curriculum practice at elementary secondary and higher secondary level stage wise this is dr v girija professor and head for the department of school of education wales institute of science technology and advanced studies chennai let us move on to the module now let us first look what school curriculum is curriculum in school education is crucially important as it provides a framework for all activities to be conducted in the school to achieve desirable quality of education what is school curriculum then school curriculum refers to a particular set of courses that is school or governing body designates but may also refer to a variety of activities designed to foster education and meet the needs of a learning community in school curriculum we see all the courses offered by an educational institution it encompasses education program syllabus schedules schedule studies subjects and program of studies specific curriculum is followed which is planned devised by the government or boards the school boards have consistently been endeavoring for meaningful learning for its students in affiliated schools for meeting challenges of the present and the future now let us look into the aims of curriculum at school level at school level the curriculum is so very important so whenever the curriculum is framed these are the aims which the curriculum developers has to keep in mind while they develop the curriculum so let me list on the aims of curriculum at school level as this module deals uh, with the curriculum uh, development at uh, stage wise at school level the curriculum developers uh, must look or uh, should aim for to enhance self awareness and explore innate potentials to promote capabilities related to goal setting to inculcate values among the children help to acquire the ability to uh, utilize technology and information for the betterment of human kind to promote physical fitness health and well being foster cultural learning and international understanding in an interdependent society provide total learning experience and promote skill development these the above listed ones should be the aim of any curriculum developers at school level now uh, let me move on further into further things that the curriculum developers should look into while framing while framing the curriculum curriculum in school must be based on legitimate pedagogical concerns and these concerns include teaching material and classroom expressions the school curriculum can be enriched with local stories history and community experiences at primary education curriculum is a cultural reproduction this image assumes that the school curriculum should be directly linked to the cultural aspects and it should reflect the culture within the school community and the broader society focuses on productive and meaningful learning experiences through curriculum curriculum emphasizes general education covers basic subjects such as reading writing arithmetic and supplemented by history geography general science and civics when we look into the operational sense while developing the curriculum the secondary curriculum is learner centered with school being a place where student would be acquiring various skills building self concept sense of enterprise aesthetic sensibilities and sportsmanship therefore for the purpose of fostering core competencies in learners this curriculum encompasses seven major learning areas from scholastic and co scholastic points of view at scholastic point of view they must concentrate on languages social sciences mathematics and sciences and in the co scholastic co scholastic work education art education health and physical education is concentrated now we shall look into the functions of uh, curriculum at the school level while developing the school's vision vision of a high quality curriculum building on the district's vision or in the state's vision this uh, they must supplement the district's educational goal while developing the curriculum 
and develop its own program of studies within the direct guidelines and develop learning centered schedule and determine nature and extent of curriculum integration provide staff development for all teachers who will use the curriculum guide align the return tested supported and taught and learned curricula monitor and implementation of the curriculum and evaluate the curriculum and overall the administration of school education is shared by the central department of education and the state ministries of education and these are the functions of curriculum at the school level now let us look into the issues in curriculum at school level here the teachers themselves are not much trained and efficient the they lack focus on skill development and lack of teamwork is missing applying a prescribed curriculum to all types of students is, is not working out so the, these issues can be solved in the following ways teachers should be well trained and they should update their knowledge which helps in students learning and building nation individual differences skill development must be emphasized in curriculum development at school level let let us move on to the curriculum which is visualized at state level curriculum at state level defines what students should know and be able to do at each grade level in their content areas languages science social sciences physical education technology education mathematics or study the curriculum should align with content standards and assessment program objectives of curriculum provide teachers with very clear information about what specific learning should occur states frame their own curriculum based on national curriculum framework the states are heavily involved in the establishment selection regulation of curriculum teaching methods instructional material in their schools consequently each state has different standards and policies which may impact the quality of education offered schools however offer courses and activities in the instructional program beyond those required by state statute there are few curriculum bodies governing school education systems especially at state level curriculum visualized at state level a classroom curriculum can be described as the teaching and learning that takes place in classrooms and other education settings at the heart of the classrooms curriculum are teachers decisions based on evidences about student learning and effective practice the curriculum at classroom refers to the lessons and academic content taught in a school or in a specific course or program some important questions related to class curriculum are what is important to be what is important to be given and what are my students at present what strategies are most likely to help my students to learn what happened as a result of the teaching and what are the implications of future teaching what are the next steps to be followed to make learning more effective so these are the questions that every uh, curriculum developers has to look into uh, when they visualize a uh, curriculum i mean developing the curriculum at cl class level now every class syllabus includes the goals objectives of learning materials and expectations from the students that is knowledge and skills that are expected from the school syllabus students when they frame every syllabus for every standard wise then uh, available materials include the whole school year level and classroom planning linked to curriculum learning areas now schools can adopt materials to suit individual students learning needs and local context in classroom we see intended and hidden curriculum students learn because of the way in which the work of school is planned and organized but which are not in themselves overtly included in the planning or even in the consciousness of those responsible for the school arrangement let us look into what kothari commission has uh, uh, i mean visualized about the curriculum at primary stage the curriculum should be simple with reduced load of formal subjects and emphasis on language elementary mathematics and environmental studies at lower primary stage improving reading instruction should be emphasized at the highest higher primary stage 6 to 8 the curriculum will be will broaden and deepen and teaching methods will become 
more systematic and standards of attainment more specific. At the higher primary stage, enriched programs should be provided for the talented children. It may take the form of additional subjects or greater depth in the same subject. At the secondary stage, study of subjects will gain in rigor and depth. At the secondary stage, courses should be provided at two levels, ordinary and advanced, beginning with eighth. The advanced level program may be done within outside or outside school hours or on self-study basis. A beginning may be made with advanced courses in mathematics, science and languages at the secondary stage and in all specialized subjects at the higher secondary stage. Kotari Commission has viewed higher secondary stage as at the high secondary stage, the courses will be diversified in such a manner as to enable pupils to study group of any three subjects in depth with considerable freedom and elasticity in the grouping of subjects. In order to ensure the balanced development of the adolescent to adolescents, total personality, the curriculum at this stage should provide half the time to the real electives and one-fourth of the time to, to the languages and one-fourth to physical education, arts and crafts and moral and spiritual education. Thank you all for patiently listening into the module 1 of 5th unit. Thank you all.